Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the kids are on break starting from today. They don't go to school for one week. So since we're moving in five days, I was just in my vanity room, like cleaning up, packing everything in boxes. Uh, I still need to take some stuff out of my vanity. But um, Aiden decided to take Young and Sonu to go get a haircut. So I'm home alone in this quiet peaceful house so i was like you know what i need to film since it's really quiet in here so i was packing all my stuff and i saw my bucket full of products that i can't live without so like skincare products and uh hair products and body products so i decided to film this quick video for you guys before i tape everything up recently i did upload a video it was the night routine video where i showed some of the products that i'm currently using i'm not going to talk about those products again so i'll just show you guys some of the products that i didn't show you guys in that video i have my favorite products in this stash right here so let's get started start with the skincare products other than the products that i showed you guys on the other video um, i wanted to show you my other favorites in that night routine video i did use the clean and clear deep action cleanser this has been my favorite since i moved to korea and i get mine from daiso for on five, about five dollars this is like the only product in my skincare routine that's for acne so i think this contains salicylic acid in here and so i use this whenever i'm breaking out a lot especially like right before i'm about to start on days when my skin is pretty clear and dry i like to use the auto bomb facial foam wash and this too i've been using it for about two years now so this cleanser whenever I'm breaking out and then this cleanser as just like a daily gentle cleanser. My cousin, she's been obsessed with this product and whenever she comes to Korea, she orders like 10 and takes it with her uh, when she leaves back to America. So I tried it once and I love it. It's a foam wash. This is like a gel type. If you guys like foam, I think you guys will really like this. It has a really mild scent. It's a mild and pH balanced facial foaming cleanser. So it won't really dry up your skin. And I don't use this to remove my makeup. I remove my makeup first and then use this as my last step of cleansing. So if you just shake this up, this looks like that. This is a really good cleanser, but one thing that sucks about this product is that you can't really find it at any of the stores. Like um, Olive Young, I've, they carry this brand, but I haven't seen this cleanser and Emart or Lottemate, they have everything online. So um, whenever I need this product, I just purchase it online. They have it on Emart online, I think Lotte online and G Market. Suitable for all skin types. I used it when I was super oily when I first moved to Korea and I still use it right now when I'm more on the dry side. On my night routine video, you guys saw my favorite ampoule and the sleeping mask that I'm currently using, but I forgot to show you guys these. This is the history of who self-generating anti-aging essence. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, I'm hitting almost mid 30s. So anytime I see like an anti-aging thing on a product, I'm like, oh, I need to try that. Um, so this was actually a gift that I got, but it, was, it looks so fancy and pretty and I know this brand is kind of expensive So I've been like using a little bit and saving it. Aiden's actually been really loving this product too. So It's kind of like a moisturizer slash serum um, It's a light beige pink color smells so good so this helps with like anti-aging like wrinkles fine lines this is the immortal oil in serum and I used about half of this so it comes in a pump and I use about that much for my entire face it's non-sticky very lightweight it has like a plant or like a floral scent Smells really good. One of my YouTube friends used this and when I was over at her house, I looked at the bottle and I was like, what is that yellow thing that's in here? Cause you could see the yellow particles in here. And um, she said it was 
the actual like flower, like the oil. So this product helps with like aging, fine lines, smoothing out your skin. Whenever I have a big event or something important the next day, I use this product. And the next day my face feels super fresh and smooth and bright. When you open the tube, you can actually see the tiny yellow particles. Next, I want to talk about these two products. So this is the jojoba oil and then this is the bio oil. I remember when I first started YouTube, I pronounced this as jojoba and a lot of people were like commenting saying it's not pronounced jojoba. So the jojoba oil is beneficial for like your entire body, literally like your hair, your skin, your nails, your body. So this comes in a drop. Type. and it's just yellow whenever you have like super dry skin somewhere and it itches you could apply some of this oil and it like calms it down and moisturizes it it's also good for your hair i like to apply it on the ends of my hair whenever my hair feels super dry i just looked up jojoba oil and the benefits it's amazing it's like a whole list it moisturizes the skin treats skin disorders um, effective in treating stubborn acne, reduces skin inflammation, Ooh, also reduces wrinkles and signs of aging, works as a good cleanser, Ooh, I've never used it as a cleanser, reduces under eye dark circles, and reduces pregnancy stretch marks. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I do use this for my stretch mark on my tummy area. Since I did give birth to two boys, I do have some stretch marks on my thigh, inner thigh, and the sides of my stomach. So I apply this. So I do apply the bio oil for the same reasons. On my stomach, I have a lot of stretch marks. So I just apply some of this. And then also for other scars that you have on your body you can also use it for um, scars on your face like if you have acne scars and also on here it says it helps smooth and tone aging skin on the face and body so there's a lot of benefits that you can see from using the jojoba oil and the bio oil if you're wanting to apply it onto really small areas you can use like a q-tip and pour some of the oil on there or you can use a cotton pad if you want to apply it onto larger areas. So I did mention that recently I'm more towards um, the dry side. So I've been into a lot of like night masks and Sika creams, like calming creams. So here are just a few that I'm currently using. I just switched off here and there. Um, this is the Cozarx Comfort Ceramide Cream. This is the Lilikosu Calming Pure Cream with C. Artemisia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the Moisture Calming Cream from, I think this is A Pure. Yeah, A Pure. This is the Sika Cream from VT. And this is the Parusol. Expert Repair Soft Cream. These are just all slightly different. Like this one contains Sika. They, um, I think this one contained the shea butter. They all work really good. All the calming creams, like Sika creams that I've used are really good. Um, the calming creams, I don't use it on my entire face like every day since the texture is a little thicker than a regular moisturizer. So I only use this when my face is super dry, when I have like a dry patch or irritation or redness. I just apply some of the calming cream onto that irritated area. So this one has currently been my favorite because compared to the other calming creams, this one's a little bit lighter, like more of like a thicker moisturizer. So this one, Sometimes I do apply it on my entire face when I have a lot of redness. And you know some of the common creams, it's even safe to apply on to um, your kids. Sometimes I randomly get like dry red patches on my skin um, when my skin gets super dry. So sometimes I even apply these common creams on my body and neck, not just my face. This VT one is kind of different too. Um, it's like a green, gel like a cool gel kind of reminds me of like aloe vera there's also like a cooling effect 
Um, recently, I've been back onto filming regularly, like my vlogs and on my beauty channel. So I've also spent hours in front of the computer, like editing. So I've been getting a lot of neck and shoulder pain. So I've been using this Tiger Balm neck and shoulder cream. That smell like medicine, so the kids don't really like the smell, but I love it. Um, it has that nice cooling effect. My shoulders and neck feels so much better. And I love this because it doesn't have the thick, sticky texture. You know how like Bengay, is it Bengay? Bengay? The Bengay creams, it was kind of like this. I remember I used that all the time and it was really kind of sticky and thick. But this, it just kind of looks like a sun cream, right? I used to not like the odor of like Tiger Balm, but as I got older, I really like it. It helps me to kind of breathe. It like opens up my air passageway. <laughs> Some blocks that I've been currently using, this is the Urban Shade Anti-Pollution SPF 50 from Dewey Tree. And you guys know I love Dewey Tree. I love their face masks. And I used the face masks in the box. I'll show you guys later. Last time I was at like Olive Young or somewhere looking at this product and it said air pollutant um, protecting skin against urban environment. And I also mentioned misemonji. So like the um, micro dust doesn't get into your skin. I do a lot of walking here in Korea. I make sure that I'm either wearing sunscreen or I wear products like um, foundation or cushions that contain some SPF. Whenever I wear makeup, I don't really like wearing sun cream underneath my makeup. I just wear a foundation that contains SPF. I do use the sun cream whenever I'm going out bare face. Just like that. It's non-greasy and very lightweight. I don't like the sun creams that are really thick and it smells like sun cream, you know? So it looks white at first, but if you keep massaging it into your skin and wait a few minutes, you don't look like ghostly white. So this sun milk, I actually discovered it recently. Um, you guys know I went to Singapore like two weeks ago with my friend Sangha and she was using this product on her entire body because you know it's really hot there and I forgot to bring sun cream. So she was like, oh, you want to use mine? And she like tossed it to me. I was like, oh, what is this? I've never seen the sun milk before. So she was like, oh, it's like really, really good. So I used it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> so I got this as soon as I got back to Korea. So it just looks like this and this too. It's really light, kind of, it does look like milk. Do you guys see that? It does have SPF 50 in here. And I just applied this on my entire body. You can just send me a photo of um, Sonu's haircut and he cut it kind of short compared to how he usually cuts it, I guess. I guess it's cute, right? <laughs> I don't know why, like as I'm getting older or maybe it's the environment, like my whole body, head to toe, it's so dry now, even my scalp. So um, my body too, I've been on a hunt for a good moisturizer because you know some body lotions, even though you apply it, your f skin still feels dry and like itchy. So you have to keep layering and layering and layering. But this one from Nivea, it's a smooth body lotion. This has been working really good for me. What's in here? Oh, it has shea butter in here. Whenever I get out of the shower, I just apply this all over my body. I love Nivea products. I love their um, lip products as well. Um, Bath & Body Works, this is also the super smooth body lotion, 24 hour moisture. This also contains shea butter and coconut oil in here. Pretty as a peach, peachy smell. For body lotions, there's not really much to talk about. I've been loving this Nivea tube. This is the soft moisturizing cream. I'm almost out of this. This contains jojoba oil and vitamin E. Oh my gosh, I'm, almost, I'm done actually. I think I could use it like two more times. So this one's a little thicker than this one. So I like to use this on areas where I'm more dry, like 
um, my elbows and my knees and my ankle area. I wanted to show you guys my favorite shampoo. I do have Head & Shoulders here in Korea, like at Emart and Lottemat, but they don't have the one with the almond oil for the dry um, scalp care. And so whenever I go to Dallas, um, cause I go to Dallas like at least once a year, I buy like three of these and bring it back with me. It takes up literally like half my suitcase, but I'm like, no, I need this product. And I'm actually, I'm done with this. I need to open my second bottle. Yeah, I'm done. I just have some random stuff that I love. So this is a, um, Facial mask from Panobagi, the dermatologist that I go to. It's amazing. Whenever I go to my dermatologist to get a skincare done and I come back home, you know how your face feels so nice and refreshed and hydrated? My face actually feels like that after I use this mask. I feel like I just came back from a skincare place. I'm using these patches, kind of like pasta. Whenever I have like leg pain, muscle cramps. Too, this is my favorite from Japan. You guys probably saw this on my Singapore vlog and maybe probably in all my travel vlogs. Just like an eye mask. It gets super, super warm. On days when my eyes feel like really, really tired, I apply this right before I go to bed. And then next day I feel refreshed. This is for the neck. So whenever I have like neck cramps, or muscle pain, I, I just apply it on the back of my neck. And then this, I haven't used this yet, but I've always wanted to try this. This is a gentle black cleansing puff. I think a lot of like makeup brands, they all carry this, but this is the one from Claire's. So whenever I go to my dermatologist and get a skincare done, while I'm laying down, they remove my makeup um, and cleanse my face while I'm laying down. And you know how they can't rinse your face with water while you're laying down? They usually get this cleansing puff with water and kind of like wipe everything off. And that's how they cleanse your face. If you've been to a dermatologist here in Korea, you probably know what I'm talking about, but that feeling just feels so nice whenever they're wiping it off. So I've wanted to try this. I'll let you guys know. Hair products. This is the Ultra Protein No Wash Ampoule Treatment. Um, no Wash Ampoule Treatment instantly untangles damaged hair. Uh, when did I use this? I used this on one of my videos. Actually, two of my videos. This smells really good and whenever my hair feels really tangled, like dry and frizzy, I apply this and my hair looks super shiny and healthy. This is a volume hair mist and I did use this on my hair tutorial. And whenever I use this, I just like, I just spray it on the insides of my hair at the top, the roots, like that. And then I tease it up a little bit and then create more volume. I don't really like using hairsprays because it'll, it can make your hair look kind of like hard and not smooth and soft looking, but the mist, it actually makes my hair still look soft while also giving volume. That's why I choose the volume mist over the volume hairsprays. So that was all the products that I'm currently loving and I can't live without. Let me know if you guys want me to do a makeup products I can't live without. Oh yeah, and also don't forget to watch my night routine video if you wanna see the other skincare products that I can't live without. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.